In this video, I would like to show you how to create queries in LibreOffice Base. Queries is a way to collect informations from different tables. So currently we have our informations about the Miskovice site and the burials they are stored in these individual tables here. And we have, for example, the artifacts where we can see um, the different names or descriptions of the artifacts together with uh, the type of the artifact and the material of the artifact and also a connection to the graves and in the table of the individuals we have also the grave ID and some information about the sex of the deceased. But what if we want to have an information about um, which material artifact material is used according to sexes. So these informations are distributed over at least two tables and if we add the lookup tables where the plain text is stored for the names of the sexes and the names of the materials, we have to combine five tables in the end. So we have to bring them together in a meaningful way. What I did already before was to find the relationships of my tables. And you can do that by clicking on Tools and selecting Relationships. And there you can see how these tables are related to each other. For example, um, the graves have an ID and this ID is stored also in grave ID at the C14 data, but also at the individuals and the artifacts. And with that we have the connection of the tables to each other and the relationships of them. We've seen that before. Um, this, I will not change that, um, this can become also quite handy if we want to combine the informations from different tables because then we can just define which informations we need and the program itself um, takes over the responsibility for connecting the tables in a meaningful way. To do that we have to make a query and we have here in this four item, uh, four icon uh, panel, we have the icon queries here and currently there's nothing here. We will not use a wizard or start with SQL, that might be too hard. We start creating query in the design view here. So our aim is to have an information of the materials according to the sexes in the individual burials. So for that, of course, we need the individuals and the artifacts because there the general the information is stored. So in the artifacts we have information about the material and at the individual level we have information about the sex of the deceased here. This has to be connected by the graves because we have in both cases the grave ID and with this the connection is made. Of course we could also directly relate grave ID to grave ID but here we can use the already built-in uh, relationship that we defined in the relationship dialog in the first place. So now we can select material ID and sex ID and have already this relationship but since this is not very speaking we have our lookup table and we can use them to come up with the actual names of the materials and the sexes. So I will also add them by double clicking them here in this dialog. And now I can close this dialog because now I have all the necessary information there. And again, we can see that here we have the whole chain of connections from the sexes over the individuals, the graves, back to the artifact and the material level. So now to have the information about materials and sexes, we can just click here name and either drag this down here or just go to name at materials and double click it. So either dragging or double clicking would place this into these uh, fields here where we define the different um, um, fields that we want to have as result in the end. I will also add grave number here that we still know from which grave these individuals came from and with that we have the complete set. I want to have the grave numbers in the first place so I just click here and drag 
this over to the first place and now we have the results here. Okay, now we can run this query by clicking here on the run query button or clicking, uh, pressing F5. And when we do that, we have here in the top panel the result of this query. So the grave number, the names of the sexes and the names of the different materials as a result here. We can also give an alias because name and name is now double. So let's say this should be sexes.name and this should be materials.name. And I can rerun the query. And now up here we have more speaking names for the different categories and we know better what the information means here. We can also store this query for later use and we will use reuse this query later on. So to do that we click here on save and then we have to name the query. So I just named that um, sexes versus materials. Pressing OK. Now I can close this dialog and here is a new item under the queries section. So I have stored this query for later use and when I click that I can see immediately the results of this query here. And if I want to edit the query I have to right click and say edit. And then we can again change the queries here. Just to give you a short information what is in the back here in the back end. So um, this is a graphical um, user interface for creating an SQL query and the actual query is stored in this SQL language. We will not go into detail here but we can see that we select these different informations grave grave numbers sexes.name as sexes name materials.name as materials.name from the tables artifacts graves individuals materials and sexes these were the tables we selected in the first place and then as a condition the artifact grave ID should be equal to the grave ID and the individual grave ID should also be equal to the grave ID and the artifact material ID should be equal to the material ID and the individual's sex ID should also be equal to the sexes dot ID. So with this all the relationships are defined in a textual form. It is actually exactly the same as we have it here but this SQL string is actually evaluated in the end. Okay, that was it for designing a query and in the next video we will see how we can use informations from the database in LibreOffice Calc by connecting that. We will start with using a simple table and then also using the query here that we already used or created during this video.